Hello dear friends, welcome to ACAD Designing. This is the SOLIDWORKS 3D Modeling, Exercise Number 11. We make this 3D model with the help of this diagram. In less and simple steps. Let's start. Launch your SOLIDWORKS software. Click on New. Select the part. And then OK. We will make a 3D model help of this diagram. You can check the link of this diagram in the description for your practice. First, we analyze the diagram and decide the steps. At the start, we select the right plane for the sketch and draw this profile. Then extrude up to 100 millimeters. Next, we select this top face and draw a rectangle according to dimensions and cut out with this depth from solid. Similarly, select this face and draw the corner rectangle. Set this rectangle according to these dimensions, then cut out trough from the solid. Our 3D object should be completed. Let's start modeling. Select the right plane and click on the sketch. Go to the Sketch tab and select the Line tool. We start the sketch from this corner point. Select the origin point for the first point of the line. Draw the line vertically straight to the upside. Put the value 75 mm and press Enter. Continued horizontally straight to the left side. Put the value 38 mm and press Enter. Next, vertically straight to the downside. If we calculate the value according to the given dimensions so we get value 50 mm, enter the value and press enter. Continued horizontally straight to the left side. Now here we need to calculate dimensions. 63, minus 38 and press enter. We got a value of 25 mm. Next, vertically straight to the downside. Put the value 25 mm. Or, you can get a tracking reference of the origin point and click the point. Continued horizontally straight to the right side. Put the value 12 mm and press Enter. Draw the line vertically straight to the upside. Put the value 9 mm and press Enter. Continued horizontally straight to the right side. Now here we need to calculate dimensions. 63 minus 12 minus 12. And press Enter. We got a value of 39 mm. Next, vertically straight to the downside. Put the value 9 mm and press Enter. Next, for the closed diagram, select the first point of the sketch. Here is a notification because of our sketch is fully defined. Escape the command. Our sketch is completed. Make sure we entered the correct values of all lines. And see here our sketch is fully defined. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Boss Base tool. Switch the extrude direction by clicking on this icon. Put the 100mm extrude value and click on Mark OK. Next, select this face and click on the sketch. Go to the Sketch tab and select the Corner Rectangle tool. We select the first point of the rectangle on this edge. But do not select fixed points, such as the midpoint and end point of this edge. Approximate I select the next point here. Move the cursor in this direction. Put the 19mm width of the rectangle and press Enter. Put the 50mm length of the rectangle and press Enter. Now we need to fix one dimension. This is 25 mm as shown in the diagram. Go to the Sketch tab and select the Smart Dimension tool. Select this line and this edge. Place the dimension. Put the value 25 mm and press Enter. Now our rectangle place in the correct position. Go to the Feature tab and select the Extruded Cut tool. We have a depth of cutout is 38 mm. Put the value 38 mm. Click on Mark OK. 
See, our sketch is cut out from the solid object. Next, select this face and click on the sketch. Go to the Sketch tab, and once we select the Corner Rectangle tool. Approximately, I select the first point of the rectangle on this edge. And select second point of the rectangle on this edge. Like this. Escape the command. Go to the Sketch tab and select the Smart Dimension tool. Select this line and this edge. Place the dimension. Put the value 32 millimeters and press enter. Similarly, select this line and this edge. Place the dimension, put the value 32 millimeters and press enter. Now our rectangle place in the correct position. Go to the feature tab and once select the extruded cut tool. Drop down direction 1 options and select through all options for the cutout. See the preview and click on mark OK. Our 3D model is completed. Let me choose some material for this object. Go to Appearance. Drop down the appearance and select Metal. Select Steel Material and I choose to cast Carbon Steel Material. Just drag it on the object and select the body option. Now, here we applied material on this 3D object. You can choose any other material as you like or as per your requirement. I hope all the steps you have understood. If you do not understand any of the steps, then comment to me. As soon as possible I will answer you. If you like this video then hit the like button, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next exercise tutorial. Have a nice day.